So here we are again with the rock ray. We're going to be doing a total tear down of the top chassis, adding a couple new parts for the steering. I really don't like this uh, loose steering that I'm getting. This thing is really excessive. And I'm hoping that that's just not the design, that that's a failure of the mechanisms. I don't think it used to be like that. So I'm putting in a new servo, ste or aluminum steering set. This is gonna change some of the mechanisms inside here that are kind of plasticky, and maybe giving us some of that. I'm hoping that that's what's really giving us some of the shimmy. Then we've got these, uh, one of these, these are the adjustable turnbuckles for the Baja and Rock Ray. This is gonna be this section, this rod right here. Um, this means that we're gonna be able to adjust the toe in and toe out. Okay, right, so first of all, what we're gonna do is tear the whole thing down. Tear the whole top off, get in here like we never have before. metal piece off in order to get to the steering stuff. And that metal shaft, I think it starts back, right back here with these bolts. It comes through, but it goes all the way through to the front here. So all the suspension has to come off. But anyway, that's gotta come off. This is to come off all these bolts all the way back to here. All right. Okay, there we go. And if you notice, I patterned out all the screws right there to match where they're gonna go back. So we're gonna take off the steering servo, place the horn. Looks like we're gonna keep this rod right here. We'll place these two towers and this brace here, and then these parts. Yeah, see, that's not a bad servo. I believe this is an all metal servo. Got some power to it. It actually doesn't seem bad. I'll... Okay, this pin comes out. Now it's all loose. Now it's taken. If I'm not mistaken, I still need all these internal parts, these bearings. Looks like no, screws. So yeah, you really do, you gotta get that part out of there. Oh man, it unscrewed. I gotta completely unscrew it. So it seems like we've got kind of like a servo saver here. I'm gonna put that on real tight when I put it back.
Yeah, pretty much lock that thing down. This pin goes in here. These off first. One, two, three, full turn. Oh, okay, yeah, it does. It threads in there. Interesting. Steering contraption. Servo came with a metal servo horn, which is pretty cool. Didn't have to pick an extra one up. Alright, let's see about this little horn here. really short, is it? I wonder if that's going to be weird. We'll see. Alright, so the first thing you need to do when you get a brand new servo is to center it. Okay, so we take the remote control, make sure that it is on, and we're going to put the steering trim right in the center. Turn on the car, let everything spin up. So there we go. Now that's centered. Now we can turn it off. Everything is here. Got that bearing in there. 
there. The screws are all tightened up. Firing is up here. So let's slide this. Okay. I have to pull this off and uh, just switch it around 180 degrees. Okay, that should be good. So we're gonna sit this way over here. Pull this stuff back through again. That way it's gonna, um, see this horn is really short. All right, so it looks like I'm gonna have to remove this horn. It's too long. But what it's gonna do is when we put this panel back, it's gonna hit the panel. So it's just gotta go. I'll most likely order up a new one and um, place that in a day or so. Okay, two days later, and we're here with the Rock Ray and its new uh, servo horn and a little bit of Loctite. After playing with some of these parts, I think that because these are metal parts with metal screws, that they are going to require some Loctite. We're going to tear this back down, put the new horn on, and uh, get this thing put back together.
Okay, after a little test run, the servo arm came off of the servo. And that was just because the screw came loose. And I guess I'm just gonna have to throw some Loctite on that as well. Overall, it's not a terrible thing that happened. It's not like something broke. Let's, uh, let's just get that back together. That will do ya. Just like that. Me on there and not come out again. So let's put this back together. You know, I'm almost thinking I'm going to put a little bit of Loctite in this one, part two. Alright, and that's it. So that is the complete rebuild of the steering and I'm really happy with it. I took it out and ran a few tests and it just flies true. The difference in uh, the play that we have here is just night and day. You see cars, but that's so much different than it used to be. So yeah, just a nice and fast, um, nice and fast, also a nice and strong turbo. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. So, solid, tight. Well, I'm gonna shut this down for now. It's been fun to drive, but it looks like crap. I've ordered the, the front end part for this, so I am gonna go be changing the front end. And then I'm gonna 3D print a few parts for this and show you how that looks because I think it's gonna look really, really, really cool. And um, that's about it. Look forward to the next video of this. We're gonna see it run and we're gonna see it looking um, really cool. Thanks, see you later.